All right, welcome back to another video. And now we're up to the stability assessments of our knee pain um, program or our checklist of things to look off. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the feet. And the feet are crucial for the knee because they um, can be a real big component in making people pronate in. So if Mel just shows us like the knee rolling in from, yeah, so if that's for poor foot stability from collapsing, so if she just comes back to normal and her foot just collapses in, See, that it takes the knee with her, so the knee gets put in a horrible position that it can't get out of, not because it had anything wrong, but because of the foot did. So two of the tests that I use, they're very easy to do, um, and we'll watch Mel's foot, and we'll do both feet for this, but first thing we want to see, can she spread her toes? And you can see here, she does a good job of that, so she just relaxes, does it again. So that foot's good, so let's look at the other one. And you want to keep the toes on the ground, she just flexes them and makes them wider. All right, if you can make a wider foot, you've got a stable base. So we can say in that case, she's pretty good. But the real big thing I want to see is, can she lift the big toe and only the big toe? The big toe is crucial to the stability of the foot. So if we're watching here, this foot on the ground, and she's struggling, like she's trying, and she's trying to relax her foot. But, and then she might have to go down and use her hand to sort of pump it a bit and keep keeping the other toes pushed down on the ground. We'll see if she can do it again. All right, let's give her a go. It's a little bit better. Put places it back down. Lift it again. It's a little bit better, but still pretty not not very good. So we would say we need to focus on a lot of that. So this this test itself would become one of her exercises, but we would actually be forcing a lot of this sort of work uh, in our program. So no, we would keep this as a positive fail. Um, that we're going to need foot stability and a lot of exercises we use standing up later on, especially single leg and lunge position where the foot can easily collapse on itself. It's all right. Mm -hmm. So now we go from foot stability to the floor. So now we're going to look at her complete, a simple um, stability test for her trunk and her abdominal region. And this is an abdominal test for the lower abdominals. So the purpose of this is, you know, obviously to gain some strength in the abdominals, but it's to try and see are the hips overriding the abs when she's moving her legs, especially when she's moving her hip. So as she lowers her legs to the ground, we should not see any part of her abdominal area or lower back arch excessively. So normally I might do this with a blood pressure cuff and where we can measure that exactly. But on your own, the way to do that, you can see her other hand is behind her back here. And she would be placing pressure on her hand through her lower back as she's lowering her legs. If she feels like she loses the pressure, then she fails the test. All right, and again, anything she fails tells us we need to work on that specifically as, a, as an exercise and have other ones around it to, to control it. The next thing we're going to do is basic glute function just using a bridge or a hip extension. So this one's a good one because it really magnifies a weakness in the person. So she'll come up into her hip extension and then she'll remove one leg off the ground. Now, when she does that, we want to see no buckling or feeling of the hip moving. So in between each rep, you come down to the floor and relax. So if we watch again, and what you want to watch carefully is if, if, if her hips move at any point. She's really working hard on hitting this. And if any cramping kicks in into the hamstring, you know that the glute is weak and there's no control. So we'll give her one more. And you can see a little bit of a movement there, but it, she's generally not too bad. All right, so this is another excellent one. So again, cramping in the hamstring is a dead giveaway of um, a weakness in that glute area and poor hip control. Now this is another excellent hip um, control test. So this is like reflex stability and we see if the hips are overriding what we would have seen in the um, abdominal test, you'll see if they're doing that in this one, the person's going to fall over quite a lot. And the trunk has to do all of the stability and the hips have to do all of the moving. So basically there's three levels to this test. The first level is hands by your side. This second level, which Mel's on now, is with her hands on the head. And she basically just has to move her foot in front of her knee. And the third level would be the hands on the head with the eyes shut. And you'll start to see that it's significantly harder for her to stabilise in this position. If the hips try to dominate, she'll fall over. Yeah, all right, so you can see that little reflex and she's doing a good job. All right, but again, a lot of knee pain people will fail all of these tests um, quite easily and that's where if they fail you make a note of it 
Um, this is where we, where we begin. Is we need to have things in there. This last one is really a movement test, but I, I call it stability because I want to see how this person uses their hip function to bend. Um, you know, if they don't, if they don't bend well, there's no way that they can, because sometimes they pass all those other tests, but they fail this one. Um, so it sort of leads into the next one, but anyway. But um, so this is Mel showing good form on on this exercise. So she'll show us one that looks poor. So that'd be one way that would be consistent with a back pain person. And then this one, you can see there's a lot of pressure in the knee, sort of using a terrible squat. So it shows us a good one again. You'll see how her legs, her shins almost stay dead vertical and her butt just pushes back and she keeps neutral. All right, so I, I really use this in this early stage because it, this one be, often becomes a key exercise for later on. But they're my basic stability tests that I would work through. Um, and again, the corrective exercises for them, there could be numerous ones, but I just need to see where this person fail, is failing at for me to magnify what to do. All right, so I hope you enjoy that video and we'll see you on the next one, which will be strength testing.